Was machst du Schleifen? Äh, ja, hallo, äh, bei Mutkurve gibt es eine Betriebsmittelspur. Ah, okay. Ja. Schick jemand raus. Danke. Danke. Tschüss. Tschüss. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nürburgring. Welcome to a very exciting video that many of you have been looking forward to. So far, we have already picked up the GR86, announced the plans and modifications and also other plans that include the final giveaway of the car. So in case you missed it, check out the link in the video description where you can register your interest to later potentially win this car. But today, after having already first some reconnaissance laps and wet laps and breaking in the engine, the conditions seem to be quite okay to do a bit of a, yeah, more spirited driving, use more of the RPM range. It's also more dry at this point. So uh, we're gonna go out in a second. A couple of limitations. Um, first of all, of course, my own driver excuse because uh, I only done like 10 laps so far this year. So I'm not completely co confident with myself. Nothing wrong with admitting that. And second of all, we have time limitation. Today the track is only open for 45 minutes. This means I'm gonna use the first lap like to warm up the, the tires and everything in the car, getting used to it. And the second one, I'll try to go, uh, let's say I'm gonna put it in the traction control mode button off. Uh, so like everything off to feel how the car really actually feels. The only downside is you will see here, I'm just gonna show it to you, the limitations of being a car YouTuber. I have the GoPro that you all love to see how fast we're going and all the other indications. So when we start the car, it's actually quite convenient because you can still see the rev counter, how, uh, how many revs you're making, and I can see through the GoPro. Now, once you switch off the traction control over here, do -do 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 -do, the rev counter changes like that. So I cannot see the end of it. Um, so we'll have to guess on the second lap. So if I'm doing some mistakes, etc., over revving, you know why it's happening because we're doing a YouTube thing. Anyway, enough talking. Let's put the, this camera away, turn the GoPros on, and uh, go for a more exciting lap that everyone's been waiting for. Again, the final, most important disclaimer: we're not chasing lap times. It's public session. We're just going to go faster than we did in the last couple of days and to have more or less a reference once we gonna be installing lots of upgrades to come so you can see what the weak points are of the car, what are going to be big improvements and everything you probably need to know about this amazing platform. Mwah. Good temperature check. We're already warm. I'll try, by the way, to give some comments along the way, but I'll focus mostly on driving. It's not that high, that speed bump.
getting that heel and toe back in action. Check. 
on a 23 outside temperature 9 degrees but surprisingly enough due to some special interesting construction of the oil interchanger like the heat exchanger the temperature is dropping very quickly which is good then again we have an outside temperature of just 9 degrees at 30 degree day it's going to be probably a different story overall quick verdict not going to go for a second lap makes no sense because the car was already absolutely on its limit it's missing camber it's missing different brake pads really not gonna do much if I yeah let alone like the traction control off nope um, yeah so brakes weakest point of the car like with many cars uh, even though it's a very light car uh, so I gotta see what I'm gonna do because uh, I have a big brake kit on order I either wait for that to arrive or in between put some like medium pads in there not to waste too much money on pads that I'm not going to use later anyway most importantly I'm extremely impressed actually I'm gonna do like a quick cool down uh, over the public road I'm not gonna park I'm the most impressed by traction control like Really, you don't even need to switch it off because on the old car, on the GT86, let alone on the pre-facelift model, pre-facelift model was absolutely worst. Like without, with traction control on, it would just not let you drive through corners whatsoever. With the facelift model, it gotten a bit better. It also had the introduction of the so-called track mode uh, where it would let you play more and then still keep the ESC on. Uh, so it will allow some wheel spin, but not uh, you spinning around. It only like saves you when uh, it needs to really save you it kicked in only once uh, in Mutkurve and also in the carousel uh, it kind of wanted to do something the question is also of course what's gonna happen once you put different suspension on LSD maybe brakes how is how is the car going to react then the gearing as mentioned during the lap very good uh, camber yeah it definitely needs some more um, and yeah, power, it doesn't need any more. So with that, like Toyota, you did an amazing car because so far I've been driving the car only on the street and that was moi. And uh, now actually driving spirited, yes, of course, it's, it's a balance. Like if you want to try driving, you should change the brake components and suspension components to your own liking because on the street, it just needs to be good for everyone find the perfect balance between comfort and sportiness and this car or Toyota or GR Gazoo Racing absolutely nailed it um, now even more excited and curious about um, yeah the modes that we're going to put on and how that's going to transform the car Wow like I hope it gets you also excited to follow the project and everything that we will be doing with that